football lovers welcome back to football trends with me now on today's video we're going to be talking about the former fifa referee who's ace Ngobo. now obviously guys he spoke about what should have happened uh, in that game against kaiser chiefs and milford fc before we dive into all of the details if you're new here please make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and of course don't forget to click the bell notification so that you get notified next time i post a new video now guys former fifa referee ace Ngobo says that uh, Kaiser Chief should have gotten another penalty kick because taking a look at the situation through his analysis, uh, the referee judged uh, Ovo Simozi because he kicked Upulemodi inside the 18 area. So instead of giving him only a red card, he should have also given Kaiser Chiefs a penalty. So he's arguing, Oguti, uh, the match official uh, made the wrong call, wrong decision because the incident actually took place inside the box and he should have resulted uh, in another Chiefs penalty. But also uh, he questioned whether uh, the Milford player really really did foul a uh, umodi or whether it was the other way around where did that incident happen the point of the contact takes place inside the box if you are finding that the player in red kicked the player in yellow and you have even and you are even showing him a red card then put the ball where it's supposed to be look at where the incident happened inside the box clearly but who kicked who the player in red goes in trying to kick the ball. He misses the ball. He gets fouled by the Kaiser Chiefs player. Instead of getting a free kick in his favor, he gets a second yellow card. Incorrect decision on who fouled who. If you decide the red player kicked the Chiefs player, give a penalty because it's inside the penalty area, says uh, Oase Ngobo. Now, guys, he also talked about Obrus Voma, uh, why uh, the penalty that was retaken which he saved had to be retaken so guys according to ama rules they say that uh if the player is going to hit the ball during penalties the goalkeeper is not allowed to move both his feet la pagutash line there's a white line is not supposed to move until ipola taluk mover that's when he can jump but uh as you can see goalkeeper way to uh, bruce voma he jumped even before the ball got kicked so that's why it had to be retaken but let's just hear with you what does ace Ngobo think about this the rule is very clear the goalkeeper stands on the line in between the goal post he must watch the kicker he can't leave the line with both feet until the ball moves that's why he's got a trailing leg but the moment of going forward carries even the trailing leg away from the line what makes it really critical is that the assistant referee needs to have a wide vision to say I'm looking at both the kicker and the goalkeeper because he's got to catch that moment when the ball moves. In that moment, one foot needs to be on the line. When he sees daylight in between the leg and the line, he raises his flag and says retake. Ushoye Nage or Ace Ngobo, a former FIFA referee. But anyways guys, I think this is it for me. Uh, personally, I think uh, Abafana needs a lot of work, needs a lot of improvement. Uh, we can blame the coach, but me personally, I don't blame the coach because a coach can only take you to that far, but he cannot cross other lines. He cannot cross other boundaries. When uh, as a player, you need to know what he this is Kaiser Chiefs I'm playing for, a big brand, and this is what I need to do. They need to have courage. Uh, the only thing he can coach, the only thing he can do is to bring the players together. I'll uh, try to make them understand each other, but to learn combinations and play the right football eliminate. But anyways, guys, uh, we're not there. Uh, that's a story for another video. This is it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon with something new.